Hello, MechWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Some of you asked me about an Evan Jaguar build, and one of you specifically about an Evan Jaguar with three LBX autocannons. And I thought, why stop there? Why not take four LBX autocannons? We're gonna take four LB2s today. We have some lasers, as you can see, and I love the build. It looks so cool when you take a look at it. Problem is, of course, that the weapons are spread over the mech, uh, and the weapon convergence is not the best. So it's kind of a very wide mech, and you need to be kind of an open terrain to actually get all of your weapons to the same spot. So I would advise doing stuff like that on probably a different mech, not necessarily on the Jaguar, but, you know, the Jaguar works for it. And we're gonna take a look at the build before we get into the game. So let's take a look. We have four LB2 autocannons. A little bit of a side note here. We need the Esprit, the core, um, left side torso. That is a hero mech Omnipod, then in order to make that happen. So if you don't have that, you can only go for something like this. I will show you real quick. Left side torso, take either the A or the B variant here and instead of having um, you know four autocannons and four lasers you can go for three autocannons and you put something like six lasers in there with that you can add another I would say one and a half tons of ammo and the rest is just heat management this build here would work as well okay so this is the alternative this is the alternative variant it's more mid-range now because the medium lasers have an optimal range of 436 meters here on this build the LB2s have a range of about a thousand meters and I really like using this mech as a second line fire support that is kind of sitting somewhere in the depth of field while the you know the team is fighting on the front line since the Evan Jaguar doesn't really have the best defense since it's you know like kind of a wide mech and your side torsos are easy to target so one of them goes and you lose half of your firepower and a lot of your heat management therefore I wouldn't necessarily brawl with that thing unless you are kind of getting pushed and you have to defend yourself or something but don't seek to brawl stay a little bit away stay a little bit behind the firing line and shoot into the fights this is definitely a damage dealer not a tank but again this build here would also work with the additional heat management and um, you know the additional lasers but since we are here this is it what I do like about the Jaguar is that it's running a 325 rated engine for a 65 ton make it's beautiful because we are running 81 kph we have the three extra double heat sinks down here and uh, it's just just what you need 81 on this mech is perfect I would say it's a very nice balance let's talk about the skills here before we get into the games shall we as you can see we have invested into all the heat gen nodes because the make it's a little bit toasty and I was skipping cooldown because uh, honestly I did not necessarily need it but I went for LBX spread 1 honestly the LBX spread 2 is okay to have since we are shooting at a pretty long range but the, the spread of the LB2s is not really that big of a deal so you can probably get another cooldown point or whatever but I was going with that also we got laser duration and a bit of range and cooldown on the way down but again the most important thing is heat gen I also had some survivability points left over so I was going for them this is not a high priority here since we want to use our position for our defense not necessarily the armor points that we get out of here another priority however is operations get heat containment and cool run maxed out in order to be able to shoot as often as possible. We have 60% radar deprivation, double cool shots, as well as a UAV. And that is the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more of this. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing, what is that, the Robolite Oasis? We are playing Assault, so let's Assault our enemies. We're gonna try to get the high ground here. We're gonna go to the right side. And it seems that this Marauder is pretty speedy. Wow, crazy. So, yeah, we go over here to the high ground. We're gonna shoot our uh, LB2 auto cannons into the fight on the other side of the battlefield, I hope. And I hope that not many PPCs and Gauss rifles are on the board because they probably have a better matchup against me because I need to deliver constant damage. They can peek, shoot their stuff, have high impact, and then fall back to cover without being shot in return. That's the thing there. So, we will see how this goes. I can use this mech as a second line fire support at any point when there is a brawl happening. So, let's check that out as well. Oh, enemies are there. We have a thousand meters. That's where I want to be. And we can actually shoot somebody. What about that Shadowhawk, huh? Is he just standing there? Oh, he's just standing there, right? Oh, he's 8k. <gasps> he's disconnected! Oh, okay. I guess we just take him? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, but he has friends. You know what? It's fine. Come over here, friend. I'm here to shoot you. And he's down. Okay, so my leg doesn't look right anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> so I want to stay here where I am right now. Ish. And um, I want to see why my team is going at the same time. There's a guy. Okay. Um, is that taken here? Is that spot taken or can I take it? 
I don't know. Yes, the guy's still up on the high ground. Ooh, he's getting pushed. And people are coming in from the left side as well. I need to move with the team, I think. Oh, strikey strike. Okay, got something done there. Oh, wait, the strikey strike was done already. That's good. And we're gonna go down here now. Okay, it's a champion with a PPC build. Okay. Did not hit me, luckily. Do we hold this or do we go down and take cover? That's a good question here. There seems to be a lot of firepower happening. Oh, there's a guy. Hello, guy, Mr. Gargoyle. Gonna pop a UAV just to see if the Gargoyle is pushing, actually. Okay, got that guy. Another strike coming down. There's also a UAV. Oh, and I went into that airstrike. So we have a two and zero situation right now. That means we can be a little bit aggressive. It means that not many enemies are left on the board. I mean, not all of them at the very least. Um, low ground there. Okay, let's go for the Hellbringer. Try to take that side torso without getting killed. This is too much for me. They're making that counter push happen now. Oh, guys, don't run. Don't run. Hold this. Ah! I know I'm running, but my armor is not good anymore. See, that's the thing. Armor is there for sharing. Okay, got some damage down the right arm of the Zeus is down. Pretty good. Another strike. Mm. All right, let's take that real quick while we're at it. Good, good, good. Should have probably shot my auto cannons. I don't know. Um, oh, crap. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, the thing is, my enemies are coming from all sides now. That guy's dead. That's good. Are those guys pushing? They are pushing. Let's go for the Garg. I'm gonna try to take him down quickly. Good twist there. And he got me. Okay. So, we dealt, yeah, 677, it's pretty good, actually. Um, but the question is, can my team withstand the brawl that is still there? And, uh, by the way, that was a do-or-die situation with the Gargoyle. I could not, not have outrun him. My side torsos were so damaged, and if I would have twisted, that would have gone to the side directly, so yeah. might as well just kill me in one go, and I could focus on him still dealing damage. That was kind of the only thing I could have done there. There was literally nothing else, except for one thing, and that is running the hell away, trying to get someone between me and my foe there. But honestly, we are 9 and 3 at that point. I'm perfectly fine with that. Get him! Very nice! So, what about that guy? I mean, there are the two last guys here, down in the trenches. It's a Mad Cat Mark IIb with Daka and then something else. Get him, boys! Let's do it! Also, something's going on here. Crash? Oh, yeah. That was probably the Shadowhawk that we saw earlier. Sorry for that, but hey! We got it. We did it. Let's take a look at the end score here before we go over to the next round. And I think it was, again, about 700, 677, something like that. Yeah. We also got two killing blows. We got nine assists. We got two kill, most damage dealt with 462 damage taken and three components destroyed. That was the first round. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty. Second game of the day. We are playing uh, the Alpine Peaks. We are playing Domination. And I think I want to set up somewhere on the high ground. And I want to shoot at a thousand meters range. Not further than that, right? Because I have ra rather limited ammo. It's always kind of a tension field to be in when uh, when running a build like this here, because um, I want to have enough ammo for the late game, and I want to engage early to deal some damage as well, so it's kind of weird. Stop it, by the way. Don't do that, please. Leave me alone. I don't want any of your PPCs, and we are fine. Okay, so we have another disconnect here. Oh, that's not good. But at the same time, we have a lot of assault mags. That's funny. All right. So, we're gonna peek over here. This is gonna be my peeking spot. So, can we shoot somebody? That's 1400 meters. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Let's go for the Vapor Eagle. He wants to contest me. I will contest you, buddy. And also his friend there. So, we are here. Oh boy. Oh boy. The PPCs are gonna be a problem, I gotta say. Because we need direct damage over time. And they can just peek and kill. That's the thing. Alright, lots of PPCs on the board here. Alright, let's go for the Hunchy. Okay, got some damage in. I got some in return. Those guys, but they are not really dealing optimal damage. That's fine. I do, though, at this point. I definitely do. All right, so we're gonna keep that in our in our crosshairs. Hello, Mr. Hellbringer. Okay, so we dealt some damage, and I want to take it rather slow here, because I don't want to lose all of my armor early on. Hello, little one. I should go for the guys on top. Okay. A yeah, little bit of damage. There is a strike coming down. We're gonna try to sidestep it. It's gonna go down, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> Not here, definitely. But yeah, we dealt some damage early on. That's good. That is very good. Uh, now we need to kind of do something with it. That's not good. That was bad, actually. There is... Oh, there's a big target. Let's go for that guy. 
Aha, uh -huh, let's go for Mr. Cyclops. I'm gonna eat the artillery. There's an Annie as well. Oh boy. That's a lot of firepower. <laughs> and I'm getting wrecked here. Oh boy, my, my, my back is not looking great anymore. But hey, we have our sniper spot still. And we can probably go for the Kitty Fox. Bad shot on my behalf. There's the Eagle coming up again. Double shot in him. Hmm. So, I mean... They have some snipers. We have some snipers or some guys on the high ground here with me. There's the eagle. Not going for me, luckily. But again, we are kind of getting some damage in over time. Now they're probably focused on me, right? Oh, that kid fox. Oh, he's going in. <gasps> Is he gonna die? Okay, kitty. Are they calling for a push at this point? They are. I think they are. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna support fire here against the dire wolf. Okay, I got some damage against the dire. Please don't go for me, Annie. Stay on the dire if possible. And we need that side torso. We couldn't get him though. We couldn't quite get him. I took a lot of damage for that. And I think it was not necessary. But hey, here we go. The enemies are making that push happen now. I think uh, they got a call from Mr. Jay-Z on the other side. Okay, let's go for those guys on the high ground again. That's kind of a tough fight. I mean, our snipers, they are snipers. They have a good spot. We have a good spot. Um... And we are dying on the front line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brawl is on. Couldn't hit him. Not properly at the very least. And we get some kills in return. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Let's uh, push around here. Let's see. Those Annies need to go. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna eat the laser damage. I want the Cyclops. It's important now that we're gonna make something happen. Okay, I'm joining the fight. Woohoo! Get that Rifleman, please. Going back. Rifleman is almost down. And then a Supernova in the back. Oh, boy. Can we kill that? Is that possible? Another strike coming down, by the way. Ah! We're out of ammo! No! Out of ammo. So, we are four and three. Not looking good. That Rifleman needs to go. And we got him. <laughs> Still alive, but barely. Barely. Guys, push around right side. Please do something. <laughs> what a game. We got 717 here. 440 taken. That is all I could do. There's my there's my mech. Oh my god. Look at him. Nice. We got a kill here. We got 6 and 4 at this point. The fight is still on. Our Marauder is at the brink of death here. Let's take a look around here. We have two AC-10s, two light PPC on the Warhammer, but is it gonna be enough? Get that Supernova already. That guy is getting... Oh, it's a Dire Wolf, actually. The supernova might be dead by the point that we are looking at right now. But no, it is not. It's still on the board. Get the Supernova. Yes! And now apply pressure around the corner, guys. There's a dire wolf half dead on Juliet 8. Just get him. Oh no, you're getting Giant. destroyed by the guys on the high ground. Come on, you can do it. I believe in your team. This guy is alone, by the way. He's gonna get eaten by the dire. Oh no, I think we are actually losing this. Let's see. What do we have here? Double PPC. Get that. Get that Hellbringer on top. We need to get some kills here. ER large laser on the snowball. I mean, that's good. But I think it would be good if the Dyer was being contested a little bit more here. Oh, you don't need to go down there. That's the thing. You want to? All right. Go for it. I mean, as soon as you get that side torso, this guy is not that scary anymore. I mean, a little less scary, I would say. But we need to get that side torso first. Now he's down to an ear PPC, a Gauss rifle. What is that build even? That's crazy. We have heavy medium, ear medium, Gauss rifle, PPC, LB10. Everything, basically. Now, the last guy is our Grand Dragon here. Oh, I thought we could win this because I was looking at the numbers. But I can see now that this guy is not even in the fight. So, Irby, it's on you. You are alone. Also, the Hellbringer should be very damaged as well. I think the Hellbringer might be killable, actually. So, uh, yeah, this guy sadly is not taking part here. Oh, that's so, so tragic, guys. So tragic. I think we could have won this if the dragon would have been here. So, what's that? It's a Vapor Eagle. I think I dealt a good chunk of damage on the Vapor Eagle as well. But hey, GG. Last is disconnected. Uh, please let the timer run out. Don't go for the hunt because that'll take forever. And it seems like they're actually doing it. So, guys... Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the build? Is it viable? I think I need, actually, for a game like that, I need more ammo. At the same time, I cannot really drop any more other stuff. I can drop armor. I can drop maybe the last heat sink there, but I don't want it because I want to also be able to shoot my lasers. So it's kind of a, kind of a weird build to have. But you know what? It's kind of fun. 
for as long as it lasts. Until you run out of ammo, then you're kind of, mm, you know, in a bad situation. But it can lay suppressive fire. It can deal some good damage, as you could see here. And yeah, I kind of like it, actually. Weapon convergence is a bit of an issue. The wide load is a bit of an issue. Uh, you know, it's a Jaguar thing. That's it. Let's take a look at the end score. We have one killing blow, seven assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 717 damage done, 441 taken, and one component destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.